Hey, what up? This is your boy, the Solo Traveler, or RD. I wanted to make another video. Uh, this video is about me traveling to Mexico, Tijuana, and Rosalito uh, Beach area. Once again, I'd like to thank you guys for checking out my video. I make several travel videos uh, from all the places I've traveled to. Uh, please like, subscribe, share my videos. Uh, definitely would appreciate that. Well, let's get into this. Um, I wanna talk about my trip going to Tijuana slash Rosalito Beach, uh, Mexico. Uh, the trip was pretty good. First, I wanna start off with, um, I was traveling during this pandemic. Uh, which basically it was about three weeks ago is when I took my trip to uh, Rosalito Beach as well as uh, as well as going to Tijuana, Mexico, TJ and I flew United out of O'Hare Airport and um, it's pretty interesting seeing how the boarding process was set up. Uh, they, I, I could tell that they changed the boarding process. Basically they allowed people who sat in the back to board first um, this was all because of COVID-19, so they were trying to avoid people bunching up in the aisles of um, entering the plane. However, um, once we got down, got to um, San Diego, uh, I actually had to take a bus as well as a trolley ride uh, to get to TJ, to get to the uh, border of Mexico uh, and cross to get to TJ, of course. And um, <clears throat> the interesting thing is that at the, my bus ride, when I got on the bus, I didn't have to pay anything because uh, during this time, San, Di San Diego was going through their um, going through their issues of dealing with a lot of COVID cases, so they just allowed me to take the bus all the way, all the way to the trolley with no issues, uh, with no without paying anything. As well as uh, once I got to the trolley, I didn't get charged at all. So <laughs> my whole trip from from the airport to get to the uh, to the actual border didn't cost anything. Once I once I got to the border, border traffic was wide open um not a lot of people was was actually crossing the border um one thing i say is that the only thing they did was to check my passport passport to make sure if i was american and then they just checked my temperature uh, and that was it once they did that it was like a quick in and out no issues at all and of course when you cross the border uh you got that long walk you got to take until you get to the taxis and they're charging their re regular rate which was a rel about five to six dollars they were charging so once i got to the hotel areas uh i was staying at Cas uh, cascadas and while i was there no matter which hotel i went to every hotel they will make you have they'll make you put on hand sanitizer they will check your temperature as well as you actually have to step on on like a sanitized mat i guess they had sanitizer in that mat for your shoes so they, they ensure that, hey, you're, you wasn't coming in with a high temperature and that you're you're going to be sanitized, which I thought was like actually pretty cool, which I thought was actually pretty good. I believe that um, other countries have taken this pandemic more seriously because um, from the two countries that I actually visited, they ensure that before you walk into any um any stores, any hotels, any location, any public gathering, they put on hand sanitizer on you as well as you got to step on sanitized mat for your shoes as well as they check your temperature. So that is something that I noticed that is like really, really interesting. And I felt more safe leaving the country than I, than I do feel in America because in America, we're not doing none of this stuff. So every place I went to, they checked my temperature, gave me hand, hand, hand sanitizer, Give me hand sanitizer as well as I had to step on the mat. So while you're in, while you're in TJ, um, everything looks pretty dead. One thing that I know is that there there isn't a lot of tourists uh, that are actually there, but business is still uh, operate, operating as normal. Um, a lot the hotels are still open. Uh, fortunately, a lot of the bars, discos are closed, but 
they have some bars or, or something's going on within the hotels uh, for your enjoyment if you want to you know catch a drink or you know meet up with people and things like that so they're still having activities going on but it's just all in the hotels after TJ, I took a 45 to hour drive out to Rosarito Beach, uh, which is off the coast of, um, of the Baja, California area or whatnot. And it's actually a nice tourist destination to go to. You definitely want to go there. Fortunately, of course, like I said, I, I, I traveled there during the COVID-19 pandemic. So there wasn't a lot of tourists, but um, you could tell how it should be when things are back in order. There's a lot of touristy stuff to do, a lot of bars, a lot of places to eat at. Um, it is a, a nice place to really chill at. And the beach looks pretty nice. Unfortunately, when we went there, the public beach was closed, but I had a chance to meet up with someone that lived there and, and we went to a private beach that was still open. So the police wanted, didn't bother you or, or no one came over there to mess with you. Uh, I just spent time on the beach and enjoy our, our time while we were there. While we were there. And while you're in Rosalito Beach, you want to check out Taco El Yaki, which is, they say it is like the best taco joint you want to go to while you're there in that area, in the whole um, Cali Baja area or the West Coast or so. Um, it was it was pretty good. You actually get to watch them cook the food in front of you, wrap it up, uh, fix your fix your tacos. It, it looks really looks really nice as well as it tastes really good. So I do suggest going out there and, and get pick pick you up some tacos from there uh, because they're really really good. All in all, my trip being out there in in TJ and Rosarito Beach, I could tell you that it was still good. Although there was a lot of places that were closed. I still plan on going back there again to enjoy my time of, of just being away from America. Uh, there's a lot to do. There's still a lot to do out there. We didn't get a chance to do ATVs or ride with horses or anything of like that. Well, that's what we wanted to do. That, that was our plan. But with everything being closed, beaches, beaches being closed, we were unable to accomplish what we wanted to do, but we still enjoyed the moment. So if you're looking for a place to go to during this pandemic time, or just looking for a place just to get away because you know what's going on here in America isn't isn't great. Um, our COVID cases are rising, and fortunately, you can't really do too much. Um, I would suggest going to um, Rosalito Beach area. Just enjoy yourself. Uh, I plan on going out to uh, Guadalajara sometime soon, going back to Mexico. So uh, those are my plans that I want to do really soon. But once again, I'd like to thank you for watching my videos. Please like, subscribe, share my videos. Peace.